What a lovely day. What a lovely day. Where have I been? Where have I been? What have I been doing? And why am I up here? Why are we, why are we back using the old helmet? I just fancy to go in the old helmet today. Whoa! B. Um, and, and what is... That's his das! Ha <laughs> ha! This, everybody, 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 Klaus! Klaus, everybody, everybody, Klaus! Klaus the motorcycle! Klaus the motorbike! Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. The, uh, the form of the nom de plumes. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, I've got a new bike! Well, when I say new, uh, he's not that new anymore. Um, but he was new. He was new. Um, got him new. He was a little. He was a little fresh-faced, newly born KTM 1190 adventure. When he was delivered into my, into my. Well, I was going to say my arms, but he wasn't. He was delivered onto my drive. Uh, in December last year. Um, so yes, so Klaus, Klaus, Klaus is a 2016, so 66 plate, KTM 1190 adventure. And so far I have done eight and a half thousand miles on him. Um, and he is awesome. And I love him very much. Um, And he is my best friend. Well, that's not strictly true. Uh, but he's not far off. I do, I do, oh, big dead thing. Big dead thing? Oh, it's a bag of shit. Um, I do still have Kurt. I do still have Kurt. Um, Kurt is tucked up in the garage. Uh, Kurt, has, Kurt has missed his first winter. Just gone. And he deserved it. Kurt deserved to miss a winter. Bless him. Because he put up with a lot. And I think pretty much this, I've, I've probably done less than 100, 200, 100 miles on him since I last posted anything, actually, which was uh, Life on Kurt Part 2. I think, what, 17, 18,000 miles? So I probably haven't done a lot more than that at all. Uh, I wasn't getting out and about much, I wasn't doing much, I was going for the odd ride now and again, but I wasn't working at that point. Um, I finished doing, I mentioned in one of my really boring videos that nobody's watched that I was doing an awful lot of volunteering, studying, all that kind of crap to try and shuffle myself up the career ladder. Uh, and I finished it last year. What the heck has been going on here? We just had a whole bunch of idiots. Or was it just a farmer with a... There's too many. I think there's a whole bunch of idiots. All these time marks. I don't know if you can see them on the camera. Um, so yeah. So I finished that and then I got a job. Didn't think I'd get a job in the field that I was kind of training to get into. It sounds a bit get out of the way, pigeon, dove, whatever you are. Um, sounds, yeah, sounds a bit silly. What's the point in doing it all? But I did. Got a job. Uh, and I was commuting quite far, and the traffic was a pain in the ass, and there was no way that Kurt could do that commute because it was a uh, 60 miles a day each way. And um, on motorways as well. So whilst I had my license and could technically ride on a motorway, it just would have been an absolute pain in the sack. So took the plunge and bought the clouses uh, and I haven't looked back since the it was a big jump <laughs> it was it was a massive jump going from one two five to to a twelve hundred and it's effectively ten times the size but I've kept this in fact the last time I did a video it was on Kurt and it was along here, wasn't it? So let's see if I can find that little place that I stopped. Well, that's not it. What are these guys all doing? Oh. 
This was it, wasn't it? Yeah, this is it. Was it? I can't remember, actually. I think it was. I think I've missed my point. What was I saying? I've got no idea. And, uh, happy people getting married. So, uh, yeah. So, ten times the power. Bigger, heavier. Was it a handful? Weirdly, no. And one key thing I think that demonstrates what the step meant was, you know, it's the whole, you only go as fast as you twist that thing there, really, ultimately speaking. Um, so you just, if, you, if you've got, if, you, if you're truly terrified, then you'll probably be quite safe because you'll just slow the fuck down and not go too fast. Oh, look, nice and stable, no hands. Um, let's just stop here. This looks as good as any place to stop, doesn't it? It's also a nice straight, so people will see me and not crash into me coming around the corner. So let's just, and then this is going to be a pain in the bum because the stand's on that side. Is it going to wobble over? Oh, whew. Oh, right, where was I? So yeah, Klaus, everyone, everyone Klaus. So Klaus is a big orange fucker, effectively. Uh, top box on the back. Yeah, really big, really heavy. But, really nice day. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I've actually got him in sport mode as well. That's a bit extreme. Let's get him back in street mode. Close the throttle. Oh, this is too tempting for a straight, isn't it? Pop it into third. Get around the really gnarly corner and straight forward because it's trying to lift. Break hard because there's a hidden crossroads. I got the ticker going. <laughs> oh my word! Ah! Oh. Sorry! Sorry everybody! Just... It's just the kid in you, isn't it? Oh, wow! Deary me. Deary me. What have I bought? Right. Goodbye. See you later.